are your tour guide today? Oh, okay. let's start from the outside. Okay, welcome to your crib. Well, this is the hallway. Yeah, you just, just <laughs> scratch that. Who left this guy on the couch? <laughs> <laughs> this is Sid and Taylor's room. This is nice, it's beautiful. Walk-in closet, just in case. Beautiful shower, bathroom, bathroom shower. Oh, I want that. I don't, I don't even care, like I don't even That's want so the cute. gin, I just want the yeah, bottles. So cute. All the details are gorgeous. Now, if you guys want, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to get to London Voyager, follow me this way. Ooh. Oh, are we outside now? Oh, are we just like in the heart of Rome? Oh, this is mine and Lud's room. Lud is currently christening oh, the toilet. We have these beautiful flowers that I'm obsessed with. Ludwig lied and said he called in for these. I did. I don't believe him. He keeps saying that. Do you believe him? I don't know. I, I had don't... to call in like four hours before. No, he's making this up. I don't know what to think. I I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not done with the door. Let's open here. Well, wait. Not you have to. You Taylor, you've got to finish the room. Okay, here. Sure, show, show Lud that. I would color. never buy this, but it looks beautiful in here. It. Yeah. Okay, but now I'll show you the cupboard. What have you seen here? Ooh, fridge. Damn it! I forget! <laughs> it's pretty low, let's be honest. Oh. Okay, well, I like how exciting. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't think it'd be like that. It's not sick. I thought it would open to a mini fridge. Right, no, it's like all, and it's like so Does nice. it weigh pressure? Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the pressure. We will definitely yeah, be charged too. for this, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it's on her. My wall. card's on. Exactly. Please don't. Oh no. Open it up. Oh, he is so quick with it. Oh no. Put it back. Oh, no. Put it back. What do we? Oh my god. Why is this happening? What's the doing? Oh boy. You're feeling really crazy. You can come. Take luxurious bath with Sid. <laughs> That's a little weird. So we got you your own room. You don't <laughs> You don't have to sleep in the tub. He's confused. <laughs> yeah. I want our bedroom decorated like this, but Ludwig never decorates it. Do they not have it? What? The Bible? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is like a race. There's no Bible. That's actually wild. No, hey, just speak stuff. You're thinking, um, such a <laughs> Do not call them and ask for a Bible. <laughs> I love this place. Look at this closet. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Anyway, that's where we're at. Day four. We're ready to go shopping. Go out the window. See you guys later. <laughs> Prosecco. We're doing a food tour with Aiden. Just with me, though. Okay. These uh, guys weren't I invited. More... No, I mean, okay. the... this is. I'm here too. The thing with you is, I think the fans are over you. It's been a little too much if Ludwig. Too much Ludwig. Or the title, Dren. I'm suing. Do you say Dren? Yeah. You think Dren little... does my thumbnails? No, but I'm suing Dren. It seems unproductive. DS Mac, put him in the thumbnail. Dren should be sued. All right, come on. Okay, first stop. Just a lovely night in Rome trying a bunch of different food. I'm really hype on it. Nice. Let's say big welcome to Francesca and behind the counter around there is Josh. Say hi everyone. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start off with a beautiful bottle of Prosecco. Wine. Feels like a snapping occasion. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get twisted and dry. It's gonna be hype. What do we get? Oh, um, <laughs> drive the car. That doesn't. That makes it worse. I'll drive. It's four hours and we're walking. You can have a glass of wine. That is true. Growing up, my father would drink for five beers and then drive me home. <laughs> Oh boy. So my dad died <laughs> tragically about the Hey, bro. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Ooh. Those yeah, times. Here in Rome, it's very specific. We say chin chin. Nice. Oh, chin chin. Anything is the sound of the glasses clanking together. Ludwig does that all the time. Ancient Roman times. Back in the ancient Roman Empire, people would kill each other. Oh. One way to do that would be to poison your drinking partner's drink. Oh. Yeah, they weren't using the very fine, delicate, transparent glasses that we're using today. They had these thick, stocky marks. So it was very difficult to see if your drink had changed color or something strange was going on. So it was almost too easy to see that. You get the venom from a ring as you pour it from the bottle. That's so hype. how did you save yourself? 
you would chin chin with your drinking partner. That way, when the glasses clank together, a few uh, droplets of your drink would end up in their glass. Whoa! And vice versa, right? So if they poison you now, I'm gonna poison all of you. <laughs> so if you chin chin and you run, we modern Romans have sort of morphed this tradition slightly. We're very superstitious. Oh. When we chin chin, we believe in very good eye contact. If there is no good eye contact, it's considered, considered to be seven years of bad luck in bed. It's in bed. Let me make sure you chin chin. <laughs> How do you feel about the first stop? Honestly, that was some good shit. If I'm gonna keep it a stack, it was some good shit. It was the Is best pesto perfect? I've ever had in my entire life. So I bought two bottles of it. Anyway, we're going to another stop and I will show you guys what we have. Ludwig, stop! Just go in there. Oh, I can't just walk into my apartment. All right, ciao. Oh, okay. Jesus. You got worried. This guy's the worst. He's pretending. Yeah, he is. You can tell. I, I hate when he pretends for attention. <laughs> yeah, okay. See ya. Yeah, yeah. All right, see ya. Just started working. Yeah, we're good. We're all good. We're trying prosciutto. <laughs> Ludwig took two. Taylor got one. These uh, these pigs are fed cheese, so it's cheesy, <laughs> cheesy prosciutto. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of build up for not a lot of you like it? 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 okay I had to plug my phone into a charger so now we've got a weird angle but we're currently trying cheeses this one is a mix of goat cow and something else I liked this cheese that cheese that cheese was too pungent and that cheese was a little funky At our last restaurant, how do you feel? Pretty full, but all in all, I think I've had some good food today. How are we all feeling? Who's sitting here? Somebody sitting here? Oh, uh, yeah, Aiden. I am tired, but excited, because this is the restaurant with tiramisu. Enjoy, chin chin. Mm. Oh, shoot. Taylor, look at me in the eyes, chin chin. What do you think of your risotto, Aiden? Oh, it's really good. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone's in a bit of a food coma at this point. Like Aiden, what was your favorite thing you ate today? Dude, it was the first truffle. Like, oh, the, the parmesan. He's still not over that. The, the parmesan Dude, that truffle sauce. Amazing. You remember when you said you didn't want to come today, Aiden? Yeah, he we said. All, he said they got a McDonald's. We all. That's uh, not what I said. We'll get it. Oh, I'm not I did not. That's what he said. said. That's what he said. He said. Oh my God! They're just throwing me under the bus. He said, "Hey, I miss America, bro." I can't handle this fresh stuff. I need those French fries. Are you having ketchup? And Ludwig. What? What was your favorite thing you had today? Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> I already answered the question, so I don't really know why no one else will answer. Just give us a smile. <laughs> Last part of the food tour vlog, I will say, we will not talk about the tiramisus because they're on the separate tiramisu vlog. So you're gonna have to check out the tiramisu review vlog for that. But these guys got lemon sorbet. How is it? It's so sour. This is so sour. <laughs> Thank you. Yum, I would eat that all day. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. It's perfect way to end, right? Yeah, that's good and light and yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, I need you to wait for the tiramisu review. I can't, I can't eat this. Um, anyway, great time. Thanks to Tatiana. She's the real one, so hearts in the comments. Well, I'm half asleep right now. So we'll end here. Yeah. Good morning, vlog. I like to cut people off mid-sentence while starting my vlog. We woke up this morning and had breakfast at the hotel. I got a massage. I'm having a mental breakdown about the flight home. Just moving here. Someone send me Swift and Dirts, please. But we're in Vatican City and um, we're going to St. Peter's first and then we have tickets to the Vatican Museum. Taylor's in the bathroom right now. Ludwig and Aiden went to go get custom suits. 
Look at the sky. I currently haven't chosen a flight home because I keep getting afraid of airplanes. Other than that, just a beautiful day, you know? Adam and Eve in a unicorn. See, they didn't save the unicorn, kind of messed up. Dude, this tiger one is so sick. I want that above my bed. It's Durs and Swift. <laughs> Swift's the tiger. We are going to the Sistine Chapel. How's Italy treating you? My wife. <laughs> He's done it again. Oh, imagine taking a bath in that. Would love to. Or that one. Honestly, I just want to take a bath. Well, that might be a tomb, not a bath. Are these tombs, not baths? <laughs> Things just got weird. Kind of the same thing. Yeah, I guess. Dog alert. Dog watch. Dog watch. Dog watch. Whoa, this is all animals. Whoa. Dog watch just got very intense. Found Nick Pollum. Found my mods. Dog watch. Out here with the dogs again. And the kitty. And potions. Very cool. Some rugs. Capturing the memories of slaughter. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we are going and we are going to enter the pavement, the arena was on top of the underground stage. So we are going there. We are going to see the Colosseum from the point of view of the gladiators. Whatever you are looking at is a part of a a restoration that has been held during the centuries. Uh, over here you can tell it there's uh, some of the pure the original ones made on limestone, poverty, yeah, and you can easily use the truth. So as I was telling you, it was a very special entrance. Uh, they all sit uh, in seats like the one you can see over there. These are the only ones that are left from the original building. And you can tell there are letters uh, and the names uh, of the people who used to sit over there. Wow. Usually not the people, but the families. Uh, you know that the wealthiest the people, the nearer to the arena. So these are the only one left. And this, is, and this was after a restoration that had been held at the time of Mussolini. So what you have to imagine is that just like in nowadays stadium, you had the seats like the one from the ground, just like the ground, to the very top. Hey, there you guys the fight. Yeah. Wearing your Balenciaga and Prada. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> it's like keep happening in this household. Our house is getting weird. <laughs> Slime. Aiden smoking weed. Wait, where'd it go? Smoking weed. <laughs> I zoomed in on the wrong guy. So living over here was also to be safe. The commercial trades taking place on the banks of the Tiber River the circular temple that was dedicated to Wow. Wild animals. Oh, be careful, Nick. He's coming right at you. I like that. He's gonna. <laughs> I like that. I'm happy we came here. What do you think, Taylor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you think? Oh, yes, maybe. Aiden, what do you think? I feel like this is the one, one of the most incredible man made things I've ever seen. For you know, sure. they built it in a day. Yeah, they built it in a day. That's real shit. Oh, she's calling us. She's calling us. Oh, she's calling us. Big. Over here, over here. Oh, I just grabbed. I didn't mean to grab your butt. I grabbed. Word luck? What? No, I meant to tap your back, but I you went out of Okay. I touched Nick's butt on accident. <laughs> That's okay. What are you guys doing back there? Us? Yeah. Oh, nothing. I was telling them how I got my ass grabbed. Uh oh. <laughs> you want that? No. You grabbed his ass? I didn't mean to. What were you trying to do? I was trying to tap his back, but then he went just out but of reach. It was too much ass. It was. <laughs> I went for his back and it was all ass. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> she gave me permission. <laughs> well, not permission. She didn't get. She gave me forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> I think they painted the shells though. No, they didn't. What? Don't do that. This is pasta carbonara. I should just record when the he explains it. Boston. Huh. Okay. 
I'm gonna stop filming now because you're being weird. Michelin star restaurant update. Pork, rib, cauliflower. I'm so full and so exhausted. This is the captain's logs, day 57. I need a nap. This is dessert. This is- Bro, this is paper. I honestly didn't listen. I'm putting plastic in my mouth. Gelatin. Oh, wow, that's crazy. They put all the ingredients inside Sorry? the gelatin. Ah. What do you think? Outside the plastic, it's pretty good. This is mm. a chocolate and a rice pudding and a sweet potato sorbet. I got a special one because I eat all my meals. <laughs> so they gave me a special one. I think you were just saying that. They gave the other guy this too. He probably ate all his meals. <laughs> and this, this again is a tiramisu, which I don't know if I should add to the tiramisu review, but I guess I will because a it's a tiramisu. So here we go. If she's name open, I need this. <laughs> so, it's a classic Japanese song of cartoon. Yeah, from a Studio Ghibli movie. You know. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, away. <laughs> yeah, right. Same concept as the aperitive. The spare of panzanella, now it's uh, with a pina colada. So, mm. wow. Wow, pineapple and coconut praline outside. On a semi bottle, three different types of chocolate, white chocolate. Hazelnut chocolate, milk chocolate, and salty peanut butter. Lemon creamy with cigarette pastry flavored with curry. That's why the chef likes to put on a curry on. Is the chef a big fan of Ghibli movies? No, no actually. Yeah. I think yes. Whose idea was that? <laughs> I wonder. I can't believe that. I heard it across the restaurant and we made a bet. Whoever got it right has to pay for the dinner. I said it was a Ghibli movie. She said there's anything else in the world. And I'm right. I said, how is that a Ghibli movie in Italy? Because animation transcends cultures. Also, did he say cigarette flavored pastry? I missed that. Cool.